Welcome back one and all to the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. It's weather for weather geeks here on the second day of May 2022 for hardcore weather geeks and nerds. May the second is always an important date and it's particularly important this year because it's a big anniversary. It's the 40th birthday or anniversary, if you will, of the Weather Channel. It debuted on May the 2nd, 1982, 40 years ago today. A lot of professional meteorologists, a lot of weather hobbyists and amateur weather people, uh, you know, they cite the Weather Channel as a big influence on their interest in weather, especially people who are over the age of, I would say, 30. Uh, the Weather Channel is not as front of mind, maybe in the public consciousness, as it was back in the 80s and 90s, maybe even early 2000s. But for someone my age, uh, who grew up watching the Weather Channel in the 80s and 90s, it was a, it was a big thing. A lot of meteorologists can cite you know, a weather event, a hurricane, a tornado, something like that, that got them interested in the weather. For me, a big part of my interest in the weather was watching the Weather Channel. It amazed me that there was this channel that was just devoted to one thing, and that was the weather. So that really sparked my interest back when I was a youngster in the 80s. But today, again, the 40th birthday of the Weather Channel. All right, uh, now that we're into May, let's do a quick uh, update on the overall May forecast. Again, this is for the entire month. There's always variation from day to day. We saw that in April. We saw a lot of warm days and a lot of chilly days in April, and it all came out in the washes eh, about a degree cooler than average. Nothing to write home about, really. The May outlook is a little less cold than it looked like it would be about 10 days ago. The uh, trends have been our friend if you're a fan of warmer weather, especially as we head into next week. It looks pretty balmy for a handful of days next week. So the way the nation looks overall in the month of May, cooler than average temperatures are favored near the U.S.-Canadian border, warmer than average temperatures favored near the U.S.-Mexico border and down towards the Gulf Coast. And around eastern Ohio and western PA, it may come out in the washes pretty close to average. That's the uh, the smart bet at this point um, with uh, you know a lot of variation, a pretty warm stretch next week, maybe followed by a, a cool down during the following week. So that's a look at temperatures. As far as precipitation is concerned, the forecast has trended a little warmer. It's also trended a little drier for May. The previous, you know, first stab at the month of May outlook um, featured pretty good odds of above average precipitation. Now our, we're back in kind of the neutral zone. So, you know, it may be another one of those things where we see a lot of variation. Some dry stretches, some wetter stretches, and it may come out in the wash as somewhat close to average. April, you know, got a reputation this year for being a pretty wet month, and we had frequent bouts of precipitation, but the precipitation totals in April were on the low side. Actually, in fact, it was a little drier than average when all was said and done. All right, on the second day of May, it was a cool one today. 59 on the high side after a mild start of 48 this morning. The record's today 92 and 29. Time lapse shows the improvement that we saw from south north as we got into the afternoon today. Pretty gloomy morning, but from south to north, drier air started filtering back in. The sun broke out. Turned out to be a very nice late afternoon and early evening across the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. Looking down on the clouds from below, you can see that clearing line pushing in from the south. Good looking sunset out there this evening. Coming up about an hour and a half after I recorded this video, but clouds will increase from the west as we go through the overnight tonight. Severe weather ongoing this evening with several tornado warnings active as of this recording in Oklahoma, parts of western Arkansas. Tornado watch out in the red. Out here, this is a low pressure system that will push east and will bring us a severe weather threat in about 24 hours. So tomorrow's severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. If you think of our severe weather risk scale as a one to five scale, the yellow area tomorrow in a lot of eastern and southern Ohio, western PA, it's a 2 on that 1 to 5 scale. We're in that slight risk, if you will, uh, many times a year. Uh, it becomes a little more infrequent for us to be in a level 3 and above. Now, a few times a year for enhanced and maybe, maybe once or twice at most for a moderate risk. And in modern times, our specific uh, part of Ohio and western PA has never been in a high risk of severe weather. That would be a, a pretty exceptional thing around here. But yeah, it's an elevated risk nonetheless tomorrow, and this will especially be focused towards the evening tomorrow. We'll probably see some showers around midday. It'll be interesting to see how those showers uh, stabilize the atmosphere or if they will have a fairly negligible impact on the instability. If the atmosphere can reload in time as the cold front approaches in the evening, the ingredients are mostly there. We've got uh, plenty of moisture. It'll be kind of a muggy day tomorrow. 
We've got uh, plenty of wind shear upstairs. We have some changing of the wind direction with height. All that being said, uh, wind damage would be our number one concern tomorrow, along with hail producers. And you'll notice once again, we have an isolated tornado risk. And the tornado risk is low. I mean, it's low, but it's not zero. And, you know, technically speaking, it's about 2% your chance of a tornado. It says Wednesday in the banner. This should be Tuesday. Uh, 2% within 25 miles of any location. That's a real skinny number, right? It's real low. Yes. However, when you consider that just an average garden variety day in our area, the chance of a tornado is almost zero. This is many magnitudes of orders of magnitude higher than just a typical day in Eastern Ohio and Western PA. So we got to pay attention to the weather tomorrow, especially late afternoon and especially into early evening. We're getting into the time of the year that thunderstorms and severe weather threats become more and more frequent. So this is the song we're going to be singing over and over again. Have multiple and redundant ways of receiving weather warnings. Here's the list of my favorite ways. NOAA Weather Radio, the Storm Tracker 21 app, of course, with push alerts turned on. Make sure on your uh, smartphone, whether it's an Android device or an Apple device, make sure the wireless emergency alerts, or WEA, W-E-A, make sure those are turned on. Go into your settings, scroll down, you'll find WEA. Make sure those are, t those are turned on. And, of course... Uh, make sure you're following me and the rest of our team on social media and uh, make sure you uh, are tuned in to the latest weather. And if you know someone that maybe typically doesn't pay much attention to the weather, but the weather could impact them if it's their golf league night or if uh, they're doing something else outdoors early Tuesday evening, make sure you give them a heads up. Send them a text. Say, hey, pay attention to the weather today. And if we get some warnings tomorrow evening, and again, you have a friend or family member who is typically just kind of not weather aware, uh, stay in touch with them during the second half of the day. So again, with our warm front, probably some showers around during midday and then a break. And the atmosphere might get a chance to reload if we get enough sunshine. And then as we go into the evening and we're into this warm sector, any thunderstorm that gets going in this zone between the warm front and the cold front will have the potential to be pretty feisty. Um, because again, some ingredients are there. The instability is the one question mark I have for the second half of the day tomorrow. Uh, we might have a midday round of showers if those stick around long enough. It might kind of stabilize the atmosphere enough that the threat will lower. If the showers aren't much and pretty quickly the sun comes out, then the atmosphere will have a better chance of reloading and becoming more unstable. It's back to ho-hum weather on Wednesday, though. Uh, this is a gloomy-looking day. Uh, maybe a shower or a sprinkle early. Just a lot of clouds all day Wednesday. Stratocumulus clouds on the, on the backside of this low. Something we see with a lot of frequency around here, that is for sure. But a brighter day coming up on Thursday. I think we'll see a fair amount of sunshine on our Thursday. Friday, we're back to somewhat cooler weather and probably some wet weather. In fact, these are a couple of lousy-looking days, Friday and Saturday. A good chance of showers, probably some thunder in the mix on Friday. Doubt there's any thunder on Saturday, but this is a showery, unsettled start to the weekend. The good news for Mother's Day is we'll get most of the rain, if not all of it, out of the way in time for a pretty nice-looking Mother's Day coming up on Sunday. And actually, temperatures will trend in the right direction next week. You know, we're talking about uh, temperatures probably pushing into the middle and upper 70s by the middle of next week. So by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we might be flirting with the 80 degree mark. But again, we have our work cut out for us with a potentially active evening on Tuesday. There's all my social media down there. If you haven't been paying attention to my content and my videos of late, my old Facebook page is dead. I don't have access to it anymore. So I started a new page a couple of weeks ago. Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm. You can also search for Eric Wilhelm WFMJ to follow me on Facebook. And nothing has changed as far as Twitter and Instagram go. I'm Eric WFMJ there. In the meantime, thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. I'll see you back here maybe on Tuesday. We might not do Weather Geeks if we have ongoing severe weather. But at the very least, I will see you uh, with a fresh edition of this video on Wednesday.